Welcome back to the James Madison Museum of Orange County Heritage. Today we're going to take a look at a daguerreotype, several amber types, and some picture cards. The first we're going to look at is the daguerreotype. A Jesse Whitehurst was one of the first photographers who was active in the American South and he opened his first gallery in Charleston, South Carolina in 1843. And what you're seeing here is a daguerreotype. These can be a little tricky because they are actually processed on a silver coated sheet of copper. And as you can see, it almost serves as a mirror. And there are times, depending on what angle you see, it, the image disappears and you see this shiny sheet of metal. Now the daguerreotype came out about 20 to 30 years before the ambrotype. The ambrotype, or collagen positive, was developed around 1851, and it replaced the daguerreotype by 1860. So we're assuming that these images were probably taken close to the, the earlier years of the American Civil War. The first difference between the daguerreotype and the ambrotype is that ambrotypes were created on glass, not a shiny metallic finish. The glass plate was coated with a medical dressing solution called collagen, which was gun cotton in ether mixed with potassium iodide. The plate would then be immersed in a sensitizing silver nitrate solution. And while it was still wet in the camera, it was developed immediately and fixed. And in a matter of a few seconds, you had a crisp, detailed photograph. This first image is of Benjamin Ladbetter. He's in a military uniform, and there were 13 military academies in Virginia prior to the American Civil War. Only VMI survives today. Unfortunately, the uniforms are very similar, but this is definitely not VMI's uniform. Ledbetter eventually became a Methodist bishop at Palmyra Church in Fluvanna County. We do not know who these three people are. It is a mother and her two sons. The younger son is wearing a dress, and that was very normal in the antebellum period. Boys wore dresses and bloomers until they reached the age where they could wear trousers. I've read the age could be anywhere from 10 years old to 12 or 13 years old. This one appears to be his older brother, and we believe this is their mother. Ambrotypes packaged in this manner were often sent to loved ones who were abroad or away from home, or even fighting in the American Civil War. When you look at the early photography, you see most people are actually resting against something. That is because before the amber type, early photography took a long time to create, and people would get tired having to stand. Eventually, you came into where you could do head portraits, and it became much easier to have your image processed. These are processed on some very, very thick board. Well, I hope you've enjoyed looking at our small collection of daguerreotypes and ambrotypes, and hope to see you soon at the James Madison Museum in historic Orange, Virginia.